CataractCoach.com. The posterior capsule is ruptured. So can you still implant the single piece eye well? Got an anonymous surgeon here doing a routine cataract case. We're going to watch this thing at two times normal speed so we can get through it. So making a couple of paracentesis incision. Looks like for some bimanual IA or cortex removal at the end there. A little anesthetic in the eye. A little viscoelastic dispersive on the surface of the eye. Inside the, inside the eye, protect the cornea. Fixating the eye. Let's see the main incision. Looks pretty good. And let's see the rexus. And I'm watching this video for the very first time. We're going to watch this together. Let's figure out where and when the issue happens. So going in through the side port, the paracentesis, to create a capsular rexus. Using a cystotome there, that looks pretty good. Nice round rexus. So far, so good. I'll completing the whole rexus with just a cystotome. That's a nice technique. That works pretty well. And just about done. All righty. So far, so good. Some hydro dissection. Of course, we're showing you the video two times normal speed. And we'll do some hydro dissection. Let's see, a little few air bubbles there. Go the other direction. All looks pretty reasonable at this point. More viscoelastic. Okay, I'll take that. And there's the nucleus. It's that's a lot of spinning. It spins. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. It spins. Now let's see what we got for the phaco removal, the nucleus removal. Looks like a chopper going inside the eye, a phaco probe, and the technique's going to be a horizontal chop. Okay, looks pretty good. A little groove down the middle also, maybe to help. A little stop and chop, kind of combo effort there. And then there's just a straight chop. Looks pretty reasonable. You're switching over to some smaller instrument, maybe a little Sinsky hook. Oh, groove again. So not quite a full chop, but using a kind of divide and conquer technique here. That works very well. Oh, now there's a chop. So a good, good combination of uh, techniques here. And time to remove the nucleus. So far, so good. Let's watch carefully. Quadrants are coming out pretty easily. I like that. So about half the nucleus is out. There's the remaining pieces. All right, a little epinuclear shell that's remaining. Let's see if we can get that out too. Yeah, how about the epinuclear shell? A little bit, a little bit more, almost. I'd get that piece towards the left more so. And let's see. There it is, all out. Pretty good. I'll take it. So it looks pretty. It looks like the capsule's intact to me. Looks pretty good. Oh, there you go. There you go. There's your capsule polishing. That's what happens. You end up poking the bag. You saw that. If not, rewind it. So now the decision is going to be made to do what? Let's see. There's an open posterior capsule. Are we going to put the single piece of acrylic in? Oh, you are a brave person. Uh, that happens going in the wrong direction, buddy. 7L, rule 7L. Flip that over. All right, there you go. A little bit better. Still not ideal. Uh, I would have put a three-piece in this one. Haptics in the sulcus, optic captured through your intact rexus. That's what I would have done. I would not have gone the single piece route. Let's see what you're going to do here. You can obviously put the single piece in. You just have to make sure there's sufficient caps or support for those haptics. Looks like you have the subincisional haptics sitting on top of the iris. That's not going to work. You got to get that thing dialed in appropriately. Now, this is going to need to go in the caps or bag, and you're, need to gonna ha you're, you're gonna need a sufficient support here. I don't know. I'm not loving this right now. A little more viscoelastic, okay. What now? Going through the Sinsky hook, side port, get that other haptic around. Don't put it in the sulcus, buddy. Let's get that in the bag. All right, it's in the bag. I'll give you that. And you've got the haptics about nine degrees away from the area that's, you know, ripped out. So I think it's sufficient support. I hope it's sufficient support. You just got to be a little cautious here. I think if you put in a three-piece lens with the haptics and the sulcus and the optic capture to the rexus, you'd sleep better at night. But is this a reasonable approach? Yeah. You're lucky there's no vitreous prolapse at this point. Get that. Let's make sure that haptics in the bag too. So again, dialing that in nice and easy. So you did it. I'll give it to you. You can see there's the rexus edge. The optic is definitely behind the rexus. I'd lower your infusion parameters here. Do not go in with a very high bottle height or high infusion pressure because you can absolutely cause more uh, ripping of that posterior capsule and less support for that IOL. So I like this approach of just very cautiously and gently just kind of washing out the AC. Very careful with this. So this can work. This is an okay approach. It is a little risky. You're lucky there was no vitreous prolapse and the anterior hyaluronic face is intact. But again, I think you would have been better off with a three-piece lens, haptics and the sulcus, optic captured through the rexus. 
But I will admit, in your situation, you did a good job, and the patient obviously has had a reasonable outcome, and per your email, the patient had a very stable outcome and has done very well. So all's well that ends well. And hey, just think, this patient's never going to need a YAG laser capsulotomy, right? Always got to look at the bright side of things. Thanks for watching.